Aloha, everybody! Welcome back to another Calm and Collective Weekly Toge Recap. So sit back, grab your favorite hot beverage as I go over what happened this week. Past events, there were none. So let's get right on to the team changes. Dark Soul saw Kuro, Kuro Sportivo underscore O2 join. Kamikaze saw Rose, I, I, I dare say I believe it is Rose, uh, it's just Kanji, so I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, not even going to try. Spirit Racing saw Ash join, and Overdrive saw Seji join. Overall, all the teams are growing, no one's leaving. All is good in the world, all is good. As for future events, Battle Stage, the course has been announced, it is Habukahara, however... It is a modified drift version of it, wherein the starting line happens at the bottom of the four consecutive hairpins on the drift course, and it keeps on going until you hit the cone, wherein uh, Takumi and the other guy would turn around in initial D, and that would be the endpoint. Overdrive stage. The car and track have been announced, and if you feel like joining... Feel free to sign up around any time right about now. It's happening this Sunday. But the car for that is the MX-5 Cup, and the track is Tsukuba Circuit. Again, you can sign up whenever you want, all in the Overdrive Discord. Now, on to mod review. So this week, there was a new spicy hot Evo that got released, the TME. Now, I have a bunch of opinions on it myself. I, I've tested it through and through. However, Banty, what is your take on this beauty of an Evo? Well, I mean, it feels kind of more like a Skyline than an Evo. It just, when you take a corner, it doesn't feel like it wants to turn in enough. But that w could be because I'm taking the wrong lines. I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt on that. On the other hand, eh, when you get on the accelerator out of the corner, it feels more like an FF. Because it wants to just kind of pull outwards. Uh, more like inwards when it's accelerating. So it's just kind of awkward, in my personal opinion. Yeah, when I was driving it, I noticed that the handbrake is uh, its not very responsive. You have to flick it and handbrake it, maybe even gear lock it as well, just to get it to uh, actually actually turn in, or at least to slide in. Yeah. Not I sure mean, if y'all ever had to do that to get it to turn. Yeah. No, I've, I've had to do that, yeah. I mean, anyone who played with TNT cars had to do that. I don't do it very often, because it's just kind of... Ooh, I guess, I guess you really don't like the Evo, Matt, comparing it to TNT. No, just a, it's way more planted than normal, I can say that. It's heavier. It feels heavier, like Benji said, more like in Skyline. But, I mean, you still got the bit of lift-off oversteer, but not so much as we used to. I think yeah. it's a more track-focused car. Maybe something about the tires, it's being too grippy, I don't know. For me, honestly, it's an Evo, so it's good for some things, it's bad for other things. It just a diff it's a different kind of car for me, more to the rear-wheel drive slidey stuff. Uh, right. I know when I was driving it and everything, Comparing it to the other TW Evo 6, this one feels like it has less power overall, even though it has more newt meters of torque. Weighs like, I think, 100 kilos more, but so I'm not sure if the power to, uh, power to weight ratio is about the same, higher or lower, but it just feels odd. Like, I think I'd have to look at the power bands of both of them and see, but I think the older one has. Uh, more lower end torque than this one. That's why I think it's down to the tires because if you think about it, the tires being more grippy, it like bites more into the road. You should accelerate faster, but then the weight the weight of a car comes in more how can I say it affects more. Like if it just will spin, you you pretty much like the RPM and the speed will seem faster. I, I, oh. That would make sense. Like the other Evo was while it did have lift off, it definitely was very, very responsive when turning. At least whenever I drove it. 
Yeah, well, I mean, the new Evo kind of has only a little bit more power, actually. It's, like, not too much faster. And yes, it, it does have less low-end torque. So, you are correct with that. Alright, so I'm not going delusional. Awesome. And, I mean, Evo's IRL have more front power than rear. Like, they kind of have more power going to the front than the rear. So it's kind of like, eh. Yeah, that's, that's going to be why it feels like an FR. Like, if you stomp on it, the front wheels are going to lose traction faster. I will, um, I, I will say, all those vehicles that were mentioned probably have one thing in common, and that is from very nice engine sounds. Not going to lie, when I whenever I'm listening to this new Evo's engine, it just makes me want to, like, shove a nail through my ear. Eh, I mean, it's not as bad as, like, what, what was it? Was this, like, 8.6? That sounded like you were trying to kill a rabbit. It was horrible. Could we not say 8.6? Uh, no, it was another 8.6 mod. Yeah. It sounded like death. I think oh, I know which one it is. The Kuno's one is trolly, so it's not that bad. But I think there was Still a... Still not great. Yeah, there was a cappuccino that sounded like 8. But yeah. like... I'm the Evo itself doesn't sound that great, but it didn't sound that bad, to be honest. Yeah, I actually don't mind it too much. In uh, general, I don't it, mind the Evo that much. Eh. It's not, yeah, I think it's not an outstanding engine sound, just there, so yay. It yeah. does its job. Does its job, does it kind of average, not the greatest, not the worst, <laughs> just kind of meh. I, if I'm not mistaken, it's the same internal sound for the external. Oh. Oh no, oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, but on some other small things on the Evo, it's just kind of the rear end feels like it has more grip sometimes when it really shouldn't. Just weight distribution problems with the Evo. Real life, the rear end would come out more, but it's kind of like, eh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've always had problems making this thing swing out. Like, whenever I drove it, it wouldn't necessarily like understeer where the front wheels lose traction all the way, but it just wouldn't turn in. Well, it's it's like the rear end won't lose traction sometimes. Yeah, so it's got that push as you go into the corner and then come out of it again. Yeah, which can be good, but kind of eh, because of how the power distribution feels. I I don't like any sort of push like that personally. It, it don't play with my driving style. But yeah, don't you drive with so, some clutch? people? Yeah, I do drive without a clutch. Yeah, I can I can kind of see how that would uh, conflict with yeah. your style. And then the wing on it feels kind of aggressive, but I mean that's fine. It is a very aggressive wing, so. 3D model wise, it's pretty decent. Yeah, it's like quite nice. It has indicators. The maps good, yeah. Scare me to be honest. If you take the ego of anything, the car just like what the hell is this? Yeah, but that is a bit you... complex. That it took yeah, me a moment it, to figure that out. But... It's not bad. It's just intimidating. But actually, well, I think mm -hmm. it's good. I Too loaded boring. in a little paint scheme that I made for it, and then my windscreen wipers were orange, and I was just like, what? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, but, like, two small little things that I like on it is that I have indicators, but... And they show up on the interior. I really like that. Downside is, I don't have hazards. So, yeah. That's kind of like... Yeah. Uh, just, just imagine the Evo is the hazard. Yeah, I mean, any Evo driver knows that they're going to be an asshole on the road, so. I mean, I painted my car orange, so I suppose it'll do as a one big hazard light. I mean, bright blue. I think blue. we're kind of forgetting it's the, this evolution is the Tommy Mac Mackin. Uh, Tommy well, Mackin yeah, one no has worse. They... mentioned that, yeah. Yeah, it's the Tommy Mackin edition, which has worse weight distribution problems than the stock Evo 6. <laughs> so the rear end should be coming out a decent amount. It should the front should act like a pivot because the front is heavier than the rear and the rear is really light. That's why it has a wing. And if you were to remove the wing, it would just want to die. So I mean, maybe with tuning, those issues can be done. I got, I didn't delve in too deep into tuning the car. It has decent tuning, but I haven't played around with it. I've been kind of busy, but they busy this week. But uh, I don't know. It may be fixable, like easy. I tried mm. to tune it. I like I did the extremes, and I still couldn't get the rear end to come out. I just, if I want the rear end to come out, like I'm going to a hairpin like Hazaki, I'll just clutch, rev the engine, pull the handbrake, and then kind of rally it. I don't know how to describe it. That's hard to do when you don't have a clutch. 
Yeah, yeah I, I, I remember that one. I mean, I can throw it into neutral and then pull my... Well, for me, it's a shifter. I've got that. Uh, there's, so. there's another way of doing it where you just kind of yeet it in hard. Like, just weight transfer it aggressively and just throw it in really, really hard. Pro- problem I have with that is that because it doesn't have the low-end torque and I don't have a clutch-to-clutch kick, and I yeet it in kinda... and then the wheels do nothing because it's in the low end of the torque. Yeah. The maps, so yeah, it so it kind of... It kind of sucks at doing its job as a rally car like that if you yeah, don't have a clutch. A um, I mean, I would say gear shifting, a uh, gear locking, uh, but uh, doesn't seem to work with a car. No, I've I've done proper grip time attack runs on Tsuchisaka, and I don't need to clutch on the downshift. I don't need to. Sorry, not a clutch. I don't need to blip on the downshifts whatsoever because it just doesn't unsettle the car whatsoever. So. Yeah, it feels more like a track car than a toge car. Yeah, it does. Uh, that's that's what I think. It's more track focused. Like I said, uh, going off topic for a bit, the interior is something I wanted to talk. About. It's not bad, but it doesn't seem finished. It's good looking as hell. Good three D models. But for example, when you turn on the lights, nothing lights up. What? What you are you always talking about? have the, the. For me, it never lights up. The yeah, I have the dashboard light up. Yeah. Then mine's oh, broke. Uh, you probably it would the appear that version way. of it. Because there was an update for the vehicle. Yeah, there were several updates. One was a uh, when they added to the pack, and one was when before they added to the pack. So. Then this would be bad. Yeah, though I really, really like the indicator thing because you can actually see the indicators on the dashboard. That is very neat. Anyway, back on topic on the Evo. Back on to the Evo once again. <laughs> um, yeah, the Evo. This is what I was yeah. saying. We're terrible at this. Yes. I mean, the, for the interior, I have no opinion on it because I use bumper cam only. <laughs> I like the interior a lot. It's very I've nice. not looked around the interior from like just a driver's seat position looking forward and using the neck. I don't have any problems, but I, I've not had a proper look around the interior, so I can't really say too much. Like, the issue that I had was like, it's just a outdated. I have no issues then because besides that, it's pretty much perfect. Yeah. And it's very well. I mean, the Evo's interior is equal to the new Supra's interior to me, so pretty good. The handling does need some work, though. It's kind of so-so. Yes, if you want a full review of the of the Supra, check last week's video. That's I wasn't there. Only a week ago. Wow, that week went slowly. That was only a week ago. Wasn't was that it? I actually. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. <laughs> it was, it was a week ago. <laughs> These days just meshed together. <laughs> it, it's it's a, it's a, within the past month. Just just check all the videos. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah like all, comment on them all and make sure to subscribe. <laughs> like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe. Remember, people, to hit the bell so YouTube doesn't kill us and does send the notification. Can we hit one million likes on this video? <laughs> 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 and, okay. so, breaking stuff. I have, I have one, I have a few more things to talk about on the Evo. <laughs> um, Back on topic once again. Yes. The. I would like more alignment options on it, if that's realistic at all, because then you would be able to s- switch. Well, I'm not sure if it actually has alignment options or not, but I mean, having it, it more... It some. It has the camera well, as a toe, but that's about it. I want to be able to put a bit more <sighs> negative and whatever. Yeah, you get what I mean. Yeah, I got what you mean. It's more a bit more of a... Range. Yeah. All right, but I dare say that's is seems to be about it for the evo if anyone else has any uh, qu- uh, quips to throw in yeah more, slightly more small tuning on the uh, wing would be nice but that's about it to be honest i uh, heard just... some people talking about the uh the trunk lights but i don't get it they say it's wrong it's bad it just looks fine i don't i've not I noticed think... any issues with that i think they're talking about the running lights and the brake lights uh i can't remember but I think all of them are running lights and brake lights. But I'm not sure. Details. Small stuff like that, I'm not sure about anymore. Yeah, that that would take a little bit to sort through and actually fix, though. Yeah, it's that, that's position. Uh, p- position. Oh wow, I cannot say that. That is precise stuff. 
Yeah, because so, I think with the actual tail light itself, you'd have to separate that model into little different into individual parts, and then for each part, assign that as a different light. I've never done light, so I don't know. I would well, love that, to learn that more just about sounds that. Sounds but... like it'd be a lot of work just to do. It is. It is probably. But I dare say that is probably everything on the Evo. Thanks for coming, boyos. No problem. No problem. I'm happy to be here. I'm not. <laughs> Just <kidding. laughs> Oh, wow. I've been drinking my coffee this entire time. You almost made me spit it out. Thanks, bud. But that is all that happened this week. I'm Mr. Potato Man, signing off.